and welcome to Aspen Cooking, my friends. My name is Yuri, and today we'll be cooking salmon tartar with avocado creamy mousse. I'm absolutely positive that you guys have all of these ingredients in your fridge, um, or if not, it's super easy to get. Uh, the only difference here, I guess, on the salmon, we're using a sashimi grade salmon, and you might not have flatfish roe, you know, for decoration. But other than that, let's get to it. Lemon, garlic, soy sauce, salt, olive oil, pepper, grainy mustard, red onion, salmon, of course, some creamy cheese right here, fly fish roe, and avocado. This fish is beautiful, fresh, sashimi grade, as I have mentioned. If yours come with the skin, make sure you free it up from it, right? We just need the fillet itself. Basically cut it up into cubes. If you want to freeze it a little bit, it might be easier to cut. That's kind of up to you. But these are the cuts that I'm looking for and I'm going to start chunking them across. Look how beautiful that is, look how fatty. Mm. Guys, marbling is flavor. You want it with a lot of marbling. Now let's go ahead and finally chop our red onion. Our salmon is in, our onions are chopped. We're going to do a pinch of salt, just like so. Real quick, we have about a tea and a half tablespoons here of soy sauce two tablespoons here of green mustard. Add in about two, well, maybe one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, that's about, it's gonna be about enough. Finally, grind in black pepper. I completely spaced, we're gonna add a little bit of zest, lemon zest. Perfect, that should be enough. Just enough for the aroma. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this. See my tartar came out a little bit chunkier. I like it in bigger chunks. Some people don't. If you don't, then just go ahead and chop it up some more. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Perfect, maybe a little bit more pepper. Just a tiny nugget. That should do it. Perfect. Now, let's do avocado mousse. It should be super simple, super delicious. Let's do it. Now we're going to blender in um, about two to three tablespoons of Philadelphia cream cheese. Hmm, delicious. Wonderful. One whole avocado, just like that. Boom, perfect. Let's do another one. We have one fresh clove of garlic. Perfect. And the lemon we borrowed zest from. I'm gonna use the lemon juice in here. And time to blend this. For decoration, we're gonna use a, a cucumber. Absolutely an extra step. like that. Okay, now it's time to assemble. I'm gonna try to make it beautiful, a restaurant style. Now carefully, flip, perfect. Remove, let's get our cap. Whew. If for whatever reason you don't have something to form it with, use foil. Foil will work just fine. Now we got our mousse. Try to spread it here like they do in restaurants. Never tried it before. Does that look good? That does not look good. Does that? Now we're going to add our row. Another one. Final touches. Get some herbs. Go ahead and add them in. 
Wasn't it simple? Told you it will be. All right, now I'm going to give it a try. Ugh, I'm really curious. Let's see. I'm just going to go for tartar alone. Come on. Mm. Mm. Wow. If you're into sashimi style foods, this would be great. Oh my god, this is so delicious. Man, this is salmon tartar, it's something else. How about this? Mousse. Avocado mousse. Mmm. Now, that complements our tartar amazingly. Mmm. And this roe, it just pops in your mouth. Delicious. Guys, as always, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in more videos for you. This is my homemade style portion right here. None of that restaurant fancy pants, you know, just straight up good food and it must be a lot of it and is meant to be shared with you, my subscribers.